Here are my top five Fire Emblem Hero Arena scoring tips that you can implement right now. Greetings citations, my name is Deltran, helping you build killing machines so you can dominate in PvP and in special hero maps. If you want to have help earning all the orbs, arena medals, and heroes the game throws at you every week, consider subscribing. Arena scoring has just been so problematic for so many people. Well, I'm going to help demystify something for you and help you try to eke out a few extra points, just the points you need to start to rank up in the tiers again. My first of the five tips is to use a bonus hero. It needs to be said because if you're not using this bonus hero, you are throwing away the majority of the points you need to continue to climb up the tiers in PvP. Every single season, you're going to have a selection of heroes that comes from the most recent banner, usually a grand hero battle if there was one recently, and also the Asker Trio. They're always going to be in each banner, not all three, but one of the three. So developing them are, is going to be very important. If you haven't developed them, you also have access to several of the free units every week. There's a rotation of them that goes on that you could follow. But if you've already foddered off most of them, then you know what? Developing the Asker Trio is fantastic, and you'll probably see why they're even better than you'd imagine as we go through these steps. Number two is to always fight advanced fights. You get to choose your fighting level, but if you've been choosing anything other than advanced, Today is the day you forget those other two buttons exist, my friend. You are always going to pick Advanced from now on. The idea here is, is that that is the one that's always going to give you the most point potential. And it's also going to train you to uh, come up with a few ideas on how to handle some of these tougher units. If you don't get experience with these tougher units by generically holding yourself back, choosing Intermediate and Beginner, then you're never going to learn the strategies yourself that you need in order to continue to stay in the up. Now these Advanced Fights are always scaled towards your team, so it's not like you're going into something that's completely impossible, so always pick advance. My third tip is to achieve deathless runs. This is so important. I had a buddy that came over and said, hey, could you help me out with my team? I just can't seem to ever rank up. And I said, sure, no problem. I help him out with this team. He goes into combat, and it was disgusting. He goes up there and he throws away a unit just so he could bait and use his Kagero to kill the rest of the team. That's not how you do this. You need to have a deathless run. You can't sacrifice any heroes on your team. This is very important because this game rewards deathless runs so many many times in other content with quests and with orbs, you really do need to just start practicing to not sacrifice units and to keep everybody alive. Tip number four is to level and merge your units. If you're using a hero that's under level 40, that's no good. Level them up to 40. And you know, don't be ashamed. Just go ahead and use some crystals and get them up there. Just get them ready for that fight. Also, if you're sitting around with a bunch of extra copies of heroes that you'd like to use in Arena, or are considering using an Arena, don't do that. Keep around one or two, maybe, at best, for fodder. The rest of those need to be scrunched up into one unit so that you have something more powerful to bring into Arena. Here's a bonus tip. Five stars heroes are very important for scoring more arena points. If you're using five star heroes, you will get higher points than you will get with four stars. However, if you have a four star that is merged to plus five, not only are they roughly equivalent to a five star, but they're also going to give you about the same points, especially if you inherit a five star caliber weapon onto them. If you give them a plus variant of whatever it is they're using from some other source that you might have gotten from a, a bad uh, pity breaker, they will then score just as well, if not better, than their five star counterpoint. So merge your units, get stronger heroes, and go into the battle and get the most points. And then tip number five is you need to have units with a high BST. Now we're taking a look here at some units that have incredibly high BST. Most of the armor units are pretty much on the top of this list, but there are other heroes that have a high BST here. You also increase the BST with merges. That's something that the game takes a look at. So once you start getting a hero who's stronger because of merges, that is also going to help, but it is the smallest factor involved. So the best thing to do here is to go over your roster, find the heroes that are level 40, maybe take advantage of the previous tip and just level the units that have a high BST to make a cohesive team that you could put into arena with the score because this is going to help you out a lot and if you're sitting there and you're like oh I keep on just losing getting into the next tier and I keep on bouncing back and forth usually you know what like five to ten points is probably all you need in order to actually stay or advance in the tier that you're at that is it once you get up higher that is what is keeping you back and so these little tweaks are going to matter now here's a bonus tip for you whenever you put skills on your heroes the degree to which those skills are matters. If you have Hone Attack 1, it's not going to get you the same points in Arena that Hone Attack 3 would. Likewise, you can also put on things like uh, Hone Horses and Goat Flyers, and they're going to count as a level 3 Hone or Spur of that same particular type. 
what's more, if you have a skill like Distant Defense or Distant Counter that don't have any predecessors, those are worth blatantly more points in Arena than anything else you could put into that A slot. Another place to eke out points is looking at legendary weapons. So many people will take Alphonse, for a, a example, and will switch out his legendary weapon for a Brave Sword. That's great, it helps him kill things a little bit easier, but it's not going to get you as many arena points. The basic rule of thumb is if it costs more skill points to use and to equip and learn, then it's going to give you more arena points. That goes the same for skills like Aether, and for the area damage skills, and for Gale Force. They're going to be able to give you more points in arena as well. That rally attack and speed that Bridelia has, yeah, that's going to get you more points than a standard assist slot will as well. And since we're talking about the value of different skills, let me go ahead and give you yet another bonus. Six, seven, eight. The seals you have equipped also matter. Now some seals are just blatantly worth more than others, but when it comes down to it, for what you have right now, make sure every hero you have going into arena has a seal on them, and make sure you're using the highest level seals you have. Even if you just went out there and decided to upgrade Brash Assault or Savage Blow, those are a lot better to put on your heroes than just some random craft for arena scoring points. These tips will help you score better in Arena right now, but I want to know what else you do to get extra points in the Arena, so let me know down in the comments, and do me a favor, if you like your Fire Emblem information hot and fresh like Grandma's cookies, hit that subscribe button. My name is Deltran, thank you so much, I greatly appreciate all of you, and until next time, take it easy.